In this video, we will see how to create a stock management template like this using Microsoft Excel. Before explaining the design process, let me show you how this template works. We have three tables here. First one is for storing the purchase details. Second one is for storing the sales details. And the third table will automatically update based on the details we type in into the first two tables. This third table called stock has the total purchase quantity, total sales quantity, available stock and there will be an alert message when the stock go below a particular number. Now let's quickly type in some purchase and sales details. We'll start with buying some laptops. Date of purchase, 8th of November 2023. Tab. And here we have a drop down list which will help us to select the item. Laptop. Type in the quantity. Enter. See the total purchase and stock quantity updated. As we have enough stock, the alert message disappeared. Now we will purchase cell phone. Again the purchase and store quantity is updated and the alert message is gone. Now let's add some sales details. See the total sale and stock quantity updated. And if you want to add new items, in the third table called stock, tap in the new item. Back to the table for purchase. And we have the new item listed here. Now let's see how to design a stock management template like this. A new Excel workbook with a blank worksheet. Let's select the cell A2. Type in serial number. Date. Item. Quantity. To convert this data into an Excel table, select the cells containing data. In the insert tab, table, create table, my table has headers, ok. See the selected data is converted into an excel table. Now to rename this table, select a cell in the table. In the table design tab, we'll rename this table to purchase, enter. To remove these filter heads, Unmark this checkbox against filter button. Now to change the table style, select the required style from here. Again for the second table, serial number, date, item, quantity. To convert this data into an excel table, select the cells containing data. Control T is the shortcut for creating Excel table. Control T, create table. My table has headers. OK. We'll rename this table to sale. Remove the filter button. Change the table style. Now the third table, the table for stock. Serial number. Item. Purchase, sale, stock, alert. Insert, table, my table has headers, ok. We'll rename this table to stock. Let's adjust the column bits.
For the ease of understanding, I will add the table names in the first row. To merge these cells above the first table, select the cells to merge. Merge and center. Purchase. Apply bold formatting, italic. We'll increase the font size. Middle align. To copy this formatting into these cells here, click on Format Painter and select the cells where you want to apply the formatting. Next step is adding items to this third table. In the column for item, type in the first item, laptop, enter. Second item will be cell phone. Enter. You can see this Excel table expanding as we add new items. Now the third item. Enter. Now for automatically updating serial numbers, select the first cell in the column for serial number. In the formula bar, equal, row function, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, minus, row function, open parenthesis. Select this column header called serial number. Close parenthesis. When I press the enter key, we have automatically updating serial numbers here. To create a drop down list of these items in the first table, select the cell in the column for item. In the data tab, data validation, validation criteria, list. Now we have to define the source. Click on this app arrow. Select the cells containing items. Click on this down arrow. OK. And we have a drop down list with these items here. Repeat the same procedure for second table. Data validation. List. Source. OK. And we have a drop down list here. For automatically updating serial numbers, equal row function open parenthesis close parenthesis minus row function open parenthesis. Select the column header called serial number close parenthesis enter. We'll copy this formula and paste it in the first table. Now that we have the tables for storing purchase and sales records, let's fill up these tables. Starting with the table for purchase, enter the purchase date, 5th of November 2023, tab, laptop, quantity, 100 numbers, tab, cell phone, 150. For copying data from the adjacent cell above, we can use the shortcut Ctrl D. Ctrl D. See the data from adjacent cell above is copied into the active cell. Smartwatch. Enter. Now the table for sales. We have purchase records in the first table, sales records in the second table. Now we will calculate the total purchase, sales and stock quantities. For calculating total purchase quantity, select the first cell in the column for purchase. In the formula bar, equal, sum if function, open parenthesis. Sum if function has three arguments. First argument is range. In this case, we are looking for the total purchase quantity. So range will be the cells containing items in the first table. Select the cells containing items, comma, second argument criteria. Select the first cell in the column for item, comma, 
third argument sum range purchase quantities are in the first table called purchase select the cells in the column for quantity close parenthesis enter and we have the total purchase quantity let's add a new record to the purchase table see the total purchase quantity updated for calculating the total sales quantity select the first cell in the column for sale in the formula bar equal sum if function open parenthesis first argument of sum if function is range here we are looking for the total sales quantity so range will be the cells containing items in the second table comma second argument criteria select the first cell in the column for item comma third argument sum range sales quantity is in the second table called sale select the cells containing quantity close parenthesis and and we have the total sales quantity laptop 85 45 plus 40 85 smartwatch 15 plus 7 22 let's add a new record to the second table see the total sales quantity updated now the formula for stock available stock can be calculated by subtracting total sales quantity from total purchase quantity equal total purchase quantity minus total sales quantity and and we have the figures for stock now the formula to display an alert message whenever the stock is below a particular number for that select the first cell in the column for alert in the formula bar equal if function open parenthesis select a cell in the column for stock less than 30 you can use whatever number you want comma value if true to display a message called low stock if the stock goes below 30 double quotes low stock double quotes comma double quotes double quotes close parenthesis and as all these stocks are below 30 we have alert messages here let's change the purchase quantity of laptop we'll make it 120 and as we have enough stock the alert message disappeared let's purchase some cell phones you can see the alert messages updating according to the stock let's add more sales records stock went below 30 and we have an alert message now if you want to add new items to this table in the column for item in the adjacent cell to the last row type in the new item enter and now when we check the table for purchase we can see the new product in the drop down list for items